Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Sivanos HD. It's your boy, 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 Sivanos HD. Welcome to this interesting, amazing, insane video. If you are new here, make sure you click on the red subscribe button to subscribe to this channel as always. And also click on the bell icon for notifications. So whenever I drop new videos, you always stay updated and notified. As you've seen on the title, Whiskey's Jesus Peace Diamond Pendant breaks off and falls down while he was performing and jumping on stage. Also, Shane Kuti has come out to say that um, Fela is the greatest musician of all time, that nobody is bigger than his dad. No musician in Africa, no artist in Africa is bigger than his dad. Also, every time I upload a new video, I always see on the comment section, HD, where have you been? Sylvanos, where have you been? Guess what, guys? I'm back now and I'm back for good, for real. I just went to a church and I bought um, 50 liters of anointing oil and I drank it. So all the demons that has been distracting me from uploading, they are gone, guys. So don't worry. Every day I'm here for you. So if you really love me and you really love my videos and you really love my content, so make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video and share with your friends. So let's take a look at the video of Whiskey jumping on stage while his um, Jesus Peace Diamond pendant fell off from his um, neck. Let's take a look at the video clip. Guys, what do you think about this? Do you think this pendant really fell off from his neck? If you take a look at this video real close, you see that at first the pendant was on his neck, but at the end of the video, the pendant was not there. Or oh, am I seeing it wrongly? Or am I taking a wrong view? Oh my god. Guys, what <laughs> person will pick this pendant now nah, life don't change you. A lot of people, I know a lot of whiskey haters, a lot of Starboy haters now they'll be saying um whiskey as as going to buy a fake jewelry whiskey went to buy fake diamonds i know that's what a lot of people be saying but i don't think this is a fake jewelry i don't think this is the the the, the diamond is fake i think it's a normal thing that happens with, and i feel this is a very very big loss for whiskey but you know the man chala sha he go handle the loss but sha i remember when i bought a gold chain for about two thousand dollars like i could never even wear the chain to go outside i was going for a party i was going to the club whenever i go to the club i don't even wear the chain the chain, I went to give it to my mama to keep it for me because I'm so scared. Imagine Whiskey losing his Jesus piece. Do you know how many thousand that, that shit was? Oh my God. I hope he finds this, this, this pendant and I hope somebody, that the person that picks it, like, come up and says the, um, the pendant is with him and returns it to Starboy because, oh my God, this is really, really terrible. But guys, what do you think about this? Do you think this whiskey pendant is fake? That's why it broke off. Like whiskey that's been, you know, Bonner Boy bought his own Olua Grammy, Grammy chain. Davido did his own big 30 BG chain. And a lot of people are also saying whiskey, like because Bonner Boy did his own, Davido did his own whiskey is like falling for peer pressure. And that's why I went to buy a fake chain. Do you think this chain is fake? Do you think whiskey is falling for peer pressure? Like because he won Grammy, but he won Grammy now. He feels like he's a big boy and he went to he wants to compete with David Doe and Bonner Boy. And now he has gotten a fake chain. Is this a fake chain, guys? Do you think whiskey can rock fake? <laughs> guys, this one uh, I don't know if to talk food, but let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Still on whiskey, singer Sen Kuti tells kids comparing um Felat with their favorite musician saying you can't be greater from who you steal from. Saying Kuti, the son of Afrobeat legend Fela, has reacted to claims that some new school singers are greater than his dad. This comes after some fans of Nigerian music star Whiskey sparked the debate that the Essence crooner is now bigger than Fela due to his international exploits and collaboration. In an apparent reaction to this, Saying took to his Instagram page to address the kids propagating the argument. According to him, they need to stop disrespecting their ancestors and treat them with levity, especially those who advocate for their rights. He also threw a subtle shade at Whiskey and Bonner Boy, who have sampled the adopted fella's work in the past, as he stated that no one can be greater than someone they take or steal from. He wrote, I have warned many of you many times to stop using your ancestors as toothpick, especially those that fought for you. But your ignorance just won't let you be, so you can't learn. 
That's why you keep living a cursed life of criminality without direction, infatuation without love, presence without future, and pleasure without control. You are caused to be indisciplined and you think you are having fun. These kids don't know, get the SARS. You can't be greater than that which you take from or steal from. Until Fela comes back from the dead and steals some of your favorite music or uses their lyrics the same way they steal his lyrics and music, your comparison is null and void. Baba ni dad ninja. Guys, what do you think about what Shane Kuti is saying? Do you agree with Shane Kuti that no present day, that Fela is greater than all the present day musicians? That Fela is greater than Whiskey and Bonner Boy? Just because Bonaboy and Whiskey sampled um, Fela's song on their music, does that make Fela greater than them? Personally, for me, I feel Fela is not greater than Whiskey. I know a lot. No, no, I know a lot of people will come on the comment section to insult me now. But personally, for me, I know I understand the fact that um, Fela reached a larger audience without um, without social media, without the internet. Like he reached a larger audience. But speaking with this present day, like as of how things is right now fella is not bigger than whiskey or bonaboy that is wrong let's remove resentment from our hearts no it's not about hate and i know a lot of people a lot of you guys might insult me but that's how it is that's just the bitter truth because like i've been i listen to fella i listen to fella music and a few days back i also listened to fella music and i told my friend the same thing i'm saying now so if you meet me anywhere in the streets in the in the in the in the church in my girl's house anywhere in the bank and you ask me the same question i'll still tell you whiskey is bigger than fella and just because your ancestor is great doesn't mean that you cannot be greater than your ancestor parents give birth to children so that their children can be greater than them so this thing fella and um, shane kuti is saying is just trash and i think it's just trying to get attention from social media and i know fella will be very very proud of bonner boy and Whiskey forever it is, and you'll be proud of David also. Still on the update and moving on, a man says virginity isn't licensed for a good wife, that virginity ends in one night, but good manners last forever. Hook up guests, don't pay this one to talk another one. A Twitter user has taken to the platform to opinion that being a virgin doesn't equate to being a good wife. According to the user with the handle Nugabona at view this. Guys shouldn't use virginity as a criteria to get a spouse, but rather ensure they get a woman with good manners. According to him, virginity ends in one night, but good manners last forever. He wrote in a tweet, Virginity isn't a license of a good wife. Don't look at virgins as a good wife. Get a woman with good manners. Virginity ends in one night, but good manners last forever. Guys, what do you think about this? A lot of people will say, I am hook up girls, don't pay this one to talk this one. And I also know a lot of virgins will not be happy to see these virgins like me. Come on. Does this mean that me that is keeping myself for this long will not make a good husband? Come on, please. I need a girl to disvirgin me. Please, if you can disvirgin me, hit me up on Instagram and come and help me. So Still on the update, Nigerians organized emergency deliverance for a notorious thief whom they caught in the act of stealing. Father may glorify in the name of Jesus Christ. I believe the spirit of peace is still alive. May God open the road for you. They are actually praying for a criminal. He came to our estate to steal. So, one of our security is praying for his life. I pray for his life. He came to our estate to steal. That's so that's our security, security is praying for his life. Like Father, may glorify their life change in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let this man you will be a blessing. Don't no more in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, may glorify. You are not blessed. Okay, minute. Yes, this how it works? If you catch somebody stealing now, is it is is it stop you to arrest the person? Is 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 prayer the new remedy? For a thief, come on, guys. Nigeria, nothing I know is even Nigeria. When I catch thief, when they pray for thief, she will not give out to police. I'm so happy they didn't do jungle justice and um, they forgave the guy. And I think the guy should know better now. 
not to to not to steal again and not to commit this act i hope he learns but to me i don't think this guy will learn i think he'll still go and steal and i think he should have been handed over to the police instead but guys what do you think about this do you think it was right they forgave him like they left him like that without handing him over to the police without handing him over to the authorities do you think this was the best move for them to make let me know what you think about these guys in the comment section. Still on the update, um, journalist Nora said that um, EFCC broke into their compound at midnight and um, assaulted them and destroyed their properties. He wrote, he wrote on Facebook, at exactly 1.36 a.m., I was alerted by my brother that they were armed robbers at my gate trying to make their way into the compound. Because it was an electric fence, I didn't bother enough because I felt they can't make their way in. At last, I was wrong. 2 a.m. on the dot, they made their way into the compound. They came prepared, over 25 of them with two Hilux buses, maxed and dressed in black upon black. A huge one climbed the fence with a plier and immediately cut off the wires, jumped into the compound with an axe, broke the gate key open and zoom, they made their first entry into my apartment. As a nude slipper, while they tried to make their way into my com into the compound, I found something to wear while my brothers and I were thinking of a way to escape. The worst case scenario for me is that they will rape or take the only valuable available, a car key, so I prepared my mind. The next thing I realized was that about seven of them were already in my room with, with shouts of light down, face down, on the lights, where is your phone, where is your car key, where is this and that, confused me. Seeing over 25 50 men with different kind of guns, man, it don't be be that. I handed over the phone to them with the key. Before then, they had already taken hold of my laptop. I turned to be sure these were arm robbers, and they asked for my password to all my devices, collected with maxing tape to identify each. Still in shock, I heard someone destroying everything in the kitchen, my room, and that of my brothers, and all my drawers. I was still asking myself what's happening. They asked me to stand and follow them downstairs. Lo and behold, they unmarked themselves. Hmm. Are these kind criminals? I asked. All my neighbors were already going through the same pain as I. I've already given my brothers a beatings of their life, carried my neighbors downstairs, and tried unlocking. Guys, let's take a look at the video clip they shared. Roll it. Well, EFCC came to this house around 1.36 a.m. and they caught the electric fence and jumped inside the house broke the door of the building everybody's apartment this is a family um, residence where people stay with their kids and EFCC came in like thieves in the night and broke in doors look at it so this happened at um, in Mili Housing Estate in Omaha, Abia State. Guys, is this how the EFCC is supposed to operate? Bust into people's house, cut their electric fence, bust into their door without 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 identifying themselves. Their Come on. First time I saw this video, I was like, God, this thief bad. I didn't know that it was the EFCC. And if this was really done by the EFCC, I think this it's high time for the government to like call these men to check because you can't just be barging into people's house like this because it's not fair. But guys, is this how the EFCC is supposed to operate? Maybe I don't know. Is this how they are supposed to operate? Let me know in the comment section. I think they, or they should be operating on intelligence and not just busting people's house. Moving on, reality TV star Leo Da Silva said that Nigerian security agencies need to start working with intelligence. Exactly what I'm saying. This is what he posted. Nigerian security agencies need to start working with intelligence. It's important we move on from just doing stop and search and guess work with no intelligence. If you are stopping a car or going to someone's house, you should be sure they have done something wrong. Exactly. This is what I'm trying to say, guys. And this is a very 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 good point leo da silva has like brought out that is all for this video guys what do you think about everything we talked about in this video let me know your own thoughts and opinion in the comment section and that is all for this video if you enjoyed this video don't forget to slap a like on this video i would really really appreciate that click on the red subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and also click on the bell icon for notifications so whenever i drop new videos you're always updated and notified 
follow me on instagram with that master blessed i really appreciate it take care stay safe i'll see you later for another interesting video and peace